welcome to the Tuesday DC Today, uh, also the kickoff of the month of August. So we closed out July yesterday. You had the NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow all up over 3%. Actually, the S&P was up the least of those three as so much of the gains in July did broaden out and uh, the big seven or so tech companies were less of the gain than they've been all year. So the S&P was a little bit lower and the Dow was a little bit higher, not not by much. Um, the Dow was, uh, I think, up 3.6. That's ba- almost half of what it's up on the whole year, just coming from last month. So you had quite a monstrous move higher in risk assets, both in the months of June and July now. Uh, we kicked off today. It was actually pretty boring. The Dow was up 71 points which was 20 basis points to the upside, uh, but the S&P was down 27 basis points and the NASDAQ down almost half a percent. So kind of a just mixed bag, but nothing, nothing to really write home about on any, on any front. Industrials led the way, but they were only up 0.32%, 32 basis points. And utilities were actually down one and a quarter percent, consumer discretionary, not far behind, all, also uh, nearly one and a quarter percent to the downside. Um, the 10 year, this is the thing I think is more interesting on the day. If there is anything you could call interesting today, um, the, the bond market sold off as the 10 year was up seven basis points, closed at 4.03%. And yet it did that even with uh, reasonably weak manufacturing data. Remember bond yields normally are going higher at uh, growthier news and bonds are generally rallying, meaning yields are going lower on less growthy news. And uh, the only thing I could think of as to why bonds would have moved the way they did today, yields respond that way, is that there might be some anticipation of a strong ADP private sector payroll report coming tomorrow, the initial jobless claims report coming Thursday, and the BOS uh, the main jobs data for the month of, of July coming on Friday. So you have back-to-back-to-back jobs numbers coming over the next three days, and maybe bond markets anticipating something kind of strong there and moving yields higher. We'll, we'll see. Um, the ISA manufacturing I mentioned was kind of weak. It came in at 46.4. That number probably doesn't mean anything to you, but anything below 50 is contraction. Anything over 50 is expansion, and it's been in contraction territory for manufacturing nine months in a row. Now, this was a little bit better than uh, the past couple of months, so the contraction was less than it's been. Um, And you only had uh, growth, though, expansion territory in two out of 18 sectors. Uh, But nevertheless, new orders, supply deliveries, both were better uh, in July than they had been in June. Um, As for my expectation of the jobs numbers in the days ahead, I don't, the only thing I would say is that whatever happens to ADP tomorrow, I would caution anyone from believing it's foreshadowing what we're going to get from BLS on Friday. And that's not to say that it couldn't end up being some sort of foreshadowing of it, but it has not been lately. And so reading into it may not be a very good idea. Uh, But yes, I think a lot of eyes will be on the jobs market uh, for not only this coming month, reflecting last month, but the next couple months as well. In the Ask David, oh, by the way, I think I skipped oil prices. Oil did close above $82 a barrel. So if it's not at the high on the year, it's very close to that high level it had hit um, back in April. And so you had oil higher, bonds lower, uh, Dow higher, S&P, NASDAQ lower, mixed bag today. Pretty boring. Maybe not as boring as a 0-0 soccer game, uh, which is what took place between the U.S. and Portugal. And somehow I do not understand how it works. This is far too complicated for me. But with a tie, it enabled the USA to advance. So that seems like good news that the USA advanced. But how they advance on a tie and the other team doesn't is a mystery to me. And I probably won't think about it again. Okay, Ask David in D.C. today, uh, the written, check that out. As someone asked me a very important question about why I believe socialism is having a comeback, a bit of a resurgence in popularity, and when one looks at the economic track record of free enterprise versus socialism, 
why would that be the case? And I answer it in written form at thedctoday.com. So I will leave it there. Kind of boring day and I look forward to come back to you tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for reading The DC Today. Mm-hmm.